Saturday, you log into Twitter, you see this. If you read over 600 tweets, there are a few things going on. There's some com conflicting info. Either it was a DDoS or Space Karen did not want to pay for Google Cloud service and uh, so something happened here. Verified accounts will be limited to reading 6,000 posts a day, unverified accounts 600 a day, and a new unverified accounts 300 a day. Verified account is one that shells out $8 a month or $84 a year for a Twitter Blue subscription, while unverified accounts are the ones that use Twitter for free. So basically, Elon saw this as another way to e-bag for uh, Twitter Blue. Everyone was wanting to jump ship. People are like, I'm going to Mastodon, I'm going to Newgrounds, I'm going to I'm going back to Tumblr, you know, even though they don't have, you know, NSFW anymore. Good thing I don't use Twitter and never will use Twitter. Consider yourself lucky. Consider yourself very lucky. What I want to do here, after everyone was kind of, you know, freaking the f out, I want to make a tier list of all these alternatives that people were uh, bringing up. So I'm going to go through them all. We're going to throw them all together. Let me just load in my images here real quick. Amazing wallpaper. <laughs> oh, I don't have my soundboard hooked up. I came in ill prepared. Every stream is a fucking disaster. Last time I got on stream, I was eating a bagel and there was a fucking hair in it. And now this just right there. We're going to look at all of these. All right. Yeah, we're going to see how they stack up against each other we're gonna discuss pros cons all of that you must be logged in to create a new template get the fuck out of here man all right fine tier maker tier maker uh, you can steal my data listen i'm already getting ass fucked by every big tech right now that they, they my anus is full i can't take any more cock data breaching cock in my ass i'm sorry i don't think there i don't think there's room for any more let me choose my files again holy Everyone's asking for your data. Okay. Uh, let's go. This Elon sucked in gut with his breasts that look like three polygons. That's Twitter. Okay. So Twitter, uh, depending on the day, it could be here or it could be here. All right. I'm not going to put it up here because, you know, that that's giving Twitter too much credit. All right. There's a reason why people take a break from Twitter so much or don't even use it in the first place. And that's because it is a toxic environment. People were saying, oh, let's go to Tumblr. All right. I don't know. Let's let, uh, let's let's make a Tumblr. OK, let me make a burner email here. And I don't give a fuck if people find it or whatever, you know, sign me up to like porn accounts or whatever, because I'm never using it again. Okay, so verify that I am human. Last time I checked, um, I have a I have a pulse. So Chef Jakey Poo, um, maybe later. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. This is just a burner email. Anyway, no, yeah, whatever. Ah, get started. So, with all of these social medias, we're gonna make an account. We're gonna see, you know, how riveting it is of an experience. Okay. Now I've run. A Tumblr before, and I've made a Mastodon. You know, it's fine. And I've used Space Hay. The only one I really haven't tried is Hive. But as a refresher, we're going to use all of these again. We're going to go through the account making process. We're going to try to use it a little bit. So, log in, uh, sign up. Let's see if your Twitter handle is available. Your Twitter handle? Fine, whatever. At J. Uh why? Did Twitter fucking buy Tumblr or something? Is there something I'm missing? Ben, Nick, you guys still here? <laughs> I need to know what happened. <laughs> you didn't need to sign up for Twitter before. You could use an email. What is this? Okay, continue with email. Great. Beautiful. Peaceful. Anyway, um, I cannot type like I used to. When I was a teenager, I could fucking speed through shit. Um, I, I, I don't fucking know. Uh... Let's, let's go. Next. Uh, about to find out. Connect with others like me. Uh, explore. Yeah, yeah. Let's just tick, tick all the boxes, all right? Why not? Burblur. Reptiblur. Fishblur. Ratblur. Petblur. Bunblur. What? Burblur. Super Mario. Dank memes. Fuck me. It's been a while since I've heard that uttered. K-pop. Wonderful. Uh, I love K-pop. Positivity, politics, like anyone needs any more politics shoved down their throat. Don't want, yeah, whatever. Okay, wonderful. Confirm your man, man, the last time I checked, I have a pulse. Kid core, that's not weird at all. Pickles. <laughs> I love drinking toilet water. <laughs> okay, pickles. <laughs> Just for that alone, I'm gonna drop pickles a follow. Hi, pickles. You're amazing. You're an amazing cat. <laughs> the face of someone who loves drinking toilet water. Let's go. 
what a legend. <laughs> okay. I love pickles. That was great. Like, unironically, that's amazing. What a legend. Uh, let's see. Daily cat memes. Uh, retro remastered. Why toilet water? I don't know. I've seen cats that can fucking, like, that have been trained to use the toilet itself. It's amazing. My cat and his boring life. I have a soft spot for black cats because, uh, rotund! Rotund! Anyway, this is the Tumblr experience. Find your people, retro. Let's see, lost in the 80s, rewind the 80s, 90s. Where's the Y2K shit? Oh, man. Oh, man. Fucking Windows, dude. Shutting down Windows from Windows 1.0 to Windows 7. All right, I'm getting a little too lost in all this. Tumblr, it's interesting for a little bit. It, it is interesting for a, a wee bit. I don't know. Let's follow. We got to follow three accounts. So let's follow that. Let's follow fucking, uh, let's see. Uh, Warakami Vaporwave. Uh, let's see. Next. So now we have our dashboard. All right. We've got our dashboard built up. We can search Tumblr now. Let's go uh, Y2K. Oh, this looks cool. They didn't spell professional properly. Probably, probably, so that's probably a foreign release of Windows. That looks really cool, though. That looks awesome. Look at this. Oh, man. Talk about some cool ass retro tag. Look at this. This was the, uh, this was the Mac Pro G4, I think. <laughs> the face. Can we go back to that. Where is it? This? <laughs> Dude, this is when shit was cool. First impressions being back after a while. A long time of not having one. Should I make a post before I make like a... You can really deck out the personalization on uh, Tumblr. So I can do shit like... Uh, if I can remember how to do it. Fuck. Add badges. What? Oh. <laughs> They're still doing this? The important blue internet check mark, Dude, that was actually kind of a W on Tumblr's part when they dunked on Twitter for that shit. Fucking Space Karen. You can edit the HTML. That's a little above my head here. I have to say, it, it is a little above my head. Uh, browse themes. You can buy themes, which is kind of, uh, I don't know. Who, who goes on to Tumblr to buy themes? Name me someone who has bought a theme on Tumblr here. Search way more themes. Be a minimalist. Be adorable. Big, beautiful images. <laughs> Love the late 90s, early 2000s. That's what I'm saying, man. I love that. Like the old GeoCity stuff. And then a little bit forward after that. I love how that looks. A lot of these look too much the same. Like you get the you get the sort of cool stuff like, you know, Waz and then stuff like that. And then you come down here and then like here's all the normie shit, you know? You know, that actually looks kind of cool. There's a customization guide. Social media install let's go what uh your occupation your posts links one through four container color background let me add a custom background here i think i have something that'll work it's whatever you know save i don't know man you know it's got some interesting stuff on there but really, who do you know that runs a Tumblr, right? No one I know on Twitter, because I have a few friends through Twitter and whatnot. No one I know uses Tumblr even as like a backup. So I guess like middle of the road, maybe. Uh, I'm just going to throw it in the middle of the road. B, it, it's it's between B and C. Yeah, let's, let's put it in B. And then B plus will be some other shit. Anyway, um, let's see. Hive. Let's do Hive next. So we're going to make an account on Hive Social. Let's see. Socialize on Hive Social. How about we do that? Easy to keep up with friends. Image and video. GIFs. Polls. It's basically Diet Coke Twitter. You know. Wait a minute. You can't make an account on the website? Are you fucking kidding me? I can't stand it when websites pull this kind of BS, man. It's so stupid. It's like, make your website browser friendly, all right? Don't make it just an app, okay? That's bullshit. Maybe, maybe I'm nitpicking. Anyway, Hive Social L. Absolute L. Can't make a fucking, uh, you can't make an account on their website. Anyway, so Hive, cancer. Absolute cancer. Mastodon. I've used Mastodon before. Mastodon 
is actually quite pleasant. Um, it's Twitter, but it's it's decentralized. So we're just going to put that in the middle for right now. We're going to go through the account making process of Mastodon. I am a small bird and I have opinions. Okay, create account. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Uh, servers. Mastodon is not a single website. To use it, you need to make an account with a provider. We call them servers. That lets you connect with other people across Mastodon. Uh, getting started with Mastodon is easy. The first step is deciding which server you'd like to make your account on. Every server is operated by an independent organization or individual and may differ in moderation policies. With an account on your server, you can follow any other person on the network regardless of where the account is hosted. I came across recently um, a instance or a server on Mastodon that didn't allow people to you know, log into Mastodon and follow them on that particular server. It was barred. Now, that could have been something, you know, on my part because I'm a fucking boomer, but uh, that that's the skinny of it in my experience. So, you know, there, there is an asterisk to this right here. You can move your profile to a different server at any time without losing any followers. To be in complete control, you can create your own server, which is also really cool. Anyway, we can't control the servers, but we control what we promote on the page. Our organization will only point you to servers that are consistently committed to moderation against racism, sexism, and transphobia. Awesome. So, uh, Universiodon, uh, Mast, Mast, Mastodon.ai, Vivaldi Social, Toot.community. I'm going to have a toot here in a second. Um, this is where my uh, current Mastodon is hosted, Toot.io. Right there. And after this, I will point you guys to my Mastodon to uh, drop a follow anyone who has a Mastodon already. Let's just make it on the main Mastodon.social, okay? Except uh, Jake Cyberspace at Mastodon.social. Uh. I'm human. I have a pulse. I have a beating heart. Beautiful. All right. Edit profile. This is the first secret of what to do. You know, uh, uh, hey, f uh, fuck ass on the internet. Uh, bio, fuck ass on the internet. All right. Let me grab my profile picture. Look at Phil for a second while I grab my profile picture here. I'm going to actually point them to, uh, my action. Ass, my ass. My actual Mastodon. Okay. I have the sudden urge to play WWE Champions. Let's go. My actual toot is right there. Uh, save changes. <laughs> bad gateway. Okay, go fuck yourself. This led me to a bad gateway. Nope, there we go. We got it. All right. And that links to my actual Mastodon here. Bad gateway is scarier than any horror movie. Agreed. Agreed, Ben. Uh, all right, so here's my actual Mastodon right here. It's on Tudio. This was just one that I made just cause. All right, so I like Mastodon. There is an asterisk to that, but I do like Mastodon. You have your trends here. Uh, Moondog. Uh, bake a song. Okay. Songs, books, or shows about beans? Okay, this reminds me of old internet. Like, not old, old internet, but like pre 2013, like milk toast internet when you could get anything to trend and it wasn't an algorithm. Yeah, this this takes me back. <laughs> Songs, books, or shows about beans. Peaceful. So that's Mastodon. Um, let me get out of fucking hive. F f hive is my fucking asexual cock and balls. All right, uh, Mastodon. Uh, can I add? Yeah, uh, add a row above. Okay, so add a row above. Let's see. Uh, C. I want to drag Tumblr down there. I want to have it just just a notch beneath Twitter, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting a chill. I'm getting I'm getting a, a signal in my uh, in my spine and in my sack that says that's not maybe the best idea. It's not S tier. There is no S tier social media. There will never be a perfect social media. But uh, it, it goes toe to toe with Twitter. I'll say that it goes toe to toe with Elon's three polygon nipples. We got one more here. Space Hay. Space Hay is a special one in to me in my heart because it reminds me and it is very much based on classic MySpace. All right. You know, this very reminiscent of what I remember MySpace being. While MySpace in, in its at its peak 
in the mid 2000s was a little before my time my first social media was fucking facebook and that 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 is the uh, dirtiest part of my asshole now so i'm going to go ahead and create a space hey we're going to use it a little bit uh remember my email and this is the sign up process sign up i agree to the terms of service please select the graphic that matches the one on the left easy verification successful and space say your name save there you go that that's it yeah verify now again do the verification and that will be popping up here in uh, just a second there we go verify don't ask again you can close the window and uh, go back to there you go now space hay is a little different it is very much so old internet social media you don't have a feed you have bulletins all right and you have instant messages a bulletin is somewhat like a feed but i think you have to go to uh uh, bulletins have a limited lifespan between 1 and 10 days, after which they're gone forever. Only your friends will be able to see your bulletins. So, you have a default of 10 days, 5 days, you have also just 1 day. Alright, so they're basically like, um, if you remember Fleets on Twitter, that's, that's kind of how it is. That's the easiest way I can describe it. So, the bulletins blog here, let's do a subject. Uh, fuck Twitter and Elon's polygonal nips. Choose category, blogging, content. Here is fecal matter. But I will still be on there because reasons. So you have all these HTML or CSS. I don't know. I, I do not know how to do all that shit. You have all these uh, settings here. You can change the, uh, the color. You can put a strike. You can put a strike through it right here. Um, you can add a link, like hyperlinks and shit like that. Uh, you can add lists, bullet lists, or a numbered list. I don't know, sky's the fucking limit. Anyway, update blog entry, view. Okay, there we go. You can give one kudos or two kudos. You can't give a kudos on your own blog entry, sorry. Layouts, let's take a, let's take a look at the layout. Oh my god, this is 2000's vomit right here and I fucking love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Windows XP. Uh, let's see. Matrix Retro Computer with green CRT. You see, now this is what I miss right here. The personalization. And like I've explained before, uh, people just didn't have in the early 2010s, starting in like the early 2010s, people, uh, teenagers, whatever, did not have the uh, attention span. Most of them, at least. I'm not going to generalize, all right? Um, let's keep that as a uh, non-generalization. Didn't have the attention span to learn how to personalize their shit like this. Because this is all done with HTML and CSS. Flash websites. Oh, yeah, man. Dude, there was this one that hosted all these, like, uh, stick figure, like, flash games and stuff. It was called Stick Page. I used to go there a lot back in, like, 2004, 5. I just remember it. Oh! Now this... This is cool. This is like some Y2K shit right here. All right, so I found a profile that I like right here. All right, and it's done by Tilapia. So we're going to take the code. We're going to select all. We're going to control C, and now we're going to go back to home right here. We're going to go into uh, the edit profile and status about me. All right, here we go. This is where you post your, uh, your code right here, and then you save, and then you view your profile. This is badass. This is so cool. Wow. I like, I don't like the cursor. Okay. There's my complaint right there. I don't like the cursor. That's one thing I didn't like about <laughs> websites in like the early 2000s is when they would change the cursor just to, to some fucking like oblong shape, some weird shit. And you didn't know where you were pointing your cursor, where the, where the tip of the cursor was. That's, that was my only complaint. Yes, sir. All right. Massive W on this one. I love this gift, too. 
like the spinning globe. That's cool. Anyway, so you got your blog, your bulletins, and your forum topics. You can add friends. Shit like this. This aesthetic right here is why I named this channel the Cyberspace. This is why we're in the Cyberspace right now. This is what I wish. I wish there was a blend of these two right here. Personalization of this, but the feed of this. Okay? This and this. Th it would be perfect. Well, not perfect, because there is no perfect social media and never will be. But this, it would be absolutely amazing. Absolutely peaceful. Also, I'm going to keep all these pages up in case anyone wants to follow me there for some fucking unknown reason. And uh, we got to add a photo here. So let's look at Phil for another second here. Oi, 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 oi. There we go. This massive W right here. If this had the personalization of Space Hay and my, the old MySpace collided with like the microblogging of Twitter, it would absolutely slap. It would be closer to what I think of social media should be outside of a uh, like a web like a actually having a website. So I'm gonna put Space Hay at a very high B plus. So here, uh, let's see, should Tumblr be down that far? I don't know, man. Hive, you know, Hive should have a fucking browser site where you can log in and see your feed instead of having to download it on a smartphone. That's just, that's ass. That is ass. Um, Space Hay, B+. Mastodon and, of course, Elon's polygonal nipples are, you go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, okay? Mastodon and Twitter go, go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And, of course, given, on any given day, it Twitter could be here or it could be closer to cancer. All right, so maybe if we could just kind of, eh. Uh, here's the thing, though. I don't want to be pretentious and put Mastodon at the top here. I highly recommend people, you know, at least give it a shot. But again, this is just this is just a debate of social media, and you know, we're we're splitting hairs here. Uh, Twitter, uh, we'll, just, we'll just keep it there. Mastodon, you know, it seems better. All right, it seems promising. I all right, I'll keep them at toe to toe. Anyway, at the end of the day, use whatever the fuck you want to use. If you want to stay over there on Facebook or all the geriatrics and like the uh, the mega normies are, go ahead. If uh, you want to be based, use Mastodon. I'm gonna try to use it more. I'm gonna actually see if I can mirror my Twitter, my uh, like Twitter, my tweets over to my Mastodon at some point. And it it doesn't matter what you use. I highly recommend Mastodon. Maybe Space Hay. In fact, just don't use social media at all. <laughs> Delete your accounts, all right? You don't need to lose your sanity over it. All right, so a little addendum to this whole project that's going on right here. There were people on my feed, Mudahar's complaining about this too. There were people that were advertising their Blue Sky account, their Blue Sky page, when Twitter shat the bed with the rate limit thing, right? And I remember Blue Sky being a thing not long after Elon took over Twitter. Blue Sky is was launched and is being launched by Jack Dorsey, co-founder of Twitter. So. I go to create an account, right? So I create an account, you know, it's decentralized. So you can make, you can add like a provider address here. Um, so we're just using default because the normal person isn't going to have a provider address. They're, they're like own alternative address. So required for this provider is an invite code. Join the wait list. And this was the point where I face palmed so hard. My hand went through my head and hit the back wall behind me. This is the problem with perpetual betas like this, right? They could have struck while the iron was hot with Twitter going down the way it did. When Twitter was having his problems, this would have been the perfect time for Blue Sky to go public. Public beta, let's go. But no, you gotta join, you gotta join this fucking wait list. It is bullshit. So yeah, join the wait list, okay. Enter your email. We'll take your data before we give your account months in advance. It's a fucking down payment. Bullshit. And then there are also people on Twitter that are like, does, he, does anyone have a blue sky code? Does anybody have a blue sky code? Just let people in for fuck's sake. There might be some facet that I'm missing here. There might be some facet that Mudahar is missing here, all right? But the problem with this, it, the problem with this is, why would you announce so early? If it's not ready, it's not ready. If it's not ready for the public, then it's not. And like Muda said right here, blue sky is just another clubhouse. Fuck all this invite code shit. Hey, look, let's check out why Blue Sky is trending here. Lucky, you got a Blue Sky. Okay, amazing. And it, it, it's just Mastodon. <laughs> it's 
just Mastodon. Let's see what uh, Vladis has to say about this. I hate to say this because I like Blue Sky, but I think Blue Sky, I cre increasingly think Blue Sky isn't going to be their Twitter replacement because they're moving at a snail's pace. Exactly. Exactly. Success is all about timing and they're not remotely close to meeting this moment. Would love to be wrong though. I completely agree. I'm actually going to retweet that because they should have they should have been ready. They could have struck while the iron's hot when Twitter had the rate limit exceeding problem this past Saturday and Sunday. But they didn't. Again, if I'm missing something here, then you can roast the fuck out of me in the comments, all right? There's probably something in that that I need to hear. I'm done ranting. That's it. I'm out. I'm going to bed.